the microphone number one. Are there any non-Muslims? From microphone number one on the right-hand side aisle? In the center aisle? Yes, brother, most welcome. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I've read in the Bible that uh, the creation of the universe, and I wanted to know what is the difference between the creation of the universe in the Quran and the Bible. Brother has a question. He has read the creation of the universe in the Bible. He wants to know what's the difference. There's a difference if you look at it. There's a difference of chalk and cheese. Look at it, it looks the same. If you analyze scientifically, difference of chalk and cheese. Zamin asman ka farak. In Hindi we say. Difference between the sky and the land. I don't want to do it, but you're forcing me to do it. Because if I tell everything, you would say the is criticizing the Bible. The first Genesis, the first book of the Bible, Old Testament, first Genesis. You know, the first book is Genesis. Okay? You know the Genesis, you know the Bible, no? First book of the Bible, the first book of the Old Testament, Genesis, chapter number one. Verse number one, two, three starts in the beginning of God. God made light. On the first day, it says, God, on the first day, God made light. And the source of light, the sun, the moon, God made on the fourth day. Unscientific. How can God make light the first day and the source of light is the fourth day? Unscientific. Furthermore, God says that He created. He created the earth on the third day. Genesis chapter 1, verse number 16. He created the earth on the third day. Genesis chapter 1, verse number 16 to 19. He created the sun and the moon on the fourth day. Not possible. Today, science tells that the earth is a part of the parent body the sun how can the earth be created on third day and sun on the fourth day it's unscientific furthermore how can life exist on the earth how can life exist on the earth without the sun furthermore the bible says in genesis chapter 1 verse number 16 to 19 almighty god created the greater light the sun to rule the day the smaller light the moon to rule the night Moon is not smaller light. Moon doesn't have a light only. Quran says moonlight is reflected. Bible says moonlight is own light. Mistake. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Moon has its own light. No. But the Bible says moon has its own light. Quran says moon has borrowed light. So if you analyze scientifically, you can point out hundreds of scientific errors. Hundreds. The Quran says Almighty God created the earth in six days, six ayam, six periods, epochs. The Bible says Almighty God created the earth in six 24 days, unscientific. The earth cannot, the world, the universe cannot be created in six 24 days. The Arabic word ayam means epochs, periods, which scientists have no problem. What I mentioned about Noah Salam in the Bible, that the world was submerged in water in 2200 BC. Today, archaeological evidence says that there's no proof at all that the world was submerged. Quran also speaks about Noah and Salam and the flood. Doesn't say the world is submerged. Doesn't give the date. Maybe 10,000 years back, 20,000 years back, 50,000 years back. We don't know. So, if you analyze scientifically, there's a world of a difference between the Quran and the Bible. On the face of it, it may look similar. Noah Salam there, Noah Salam here. Moon there, moon here. Sun there, sun here. World of a difference. You can go on pointing out mistakes according to an article which came by Jehovah's Witnesses. You know Jehovah's Witnesses? is one of the sect of Christendom. They have a magazine called Awake. They took out a title 50,000 errors in the Bible. Who says that Christian, not Zakir Naik? 50,000 errors in the Bible. Now we are going to correct it. I am giving you fresh version. Quran. Last Testament. Follow it. Or would you follow it or not? Would you want the Old yes, Testament? I yes, I do. You will follow the yes. last testament. Yes. MashaAllah, when will you follow it? So when will you follow it? Excuse me? When will you follow the last testament? I already read it. You have read it? Yes. MashaAllah, I want you to follow it. And I follow sometimes because where I live, I live with Christian parents and can't live as Muslim. And um, preparing myself to be a Muslim. Mashallah. Brother, do you believe in one God? 
Do you believe in one God? Yes. Only Allah. One God. Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. Mashallah. Do you believe he is the messenger of God? I believe he is a messenger. Mashallah. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Khalas. So you already prepared. Yes. So if you believe there is one God, if you believe there is one God, and you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, you are a Muslim. You enter the fold of Islam later on, slowly, slowly you start practicing. The basic criteria for you to enter the fold of Islam is believe there is one God and believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. So that means according to me you are a Muslim. Yes. So would you like to say it in Arabic? What you said in English, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yes. Okay, I say in Arabic and you repeat it. Okay. I say in Arabic. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness. This is the translation. I bear witness. The translation you have to repeat it. I bear witness. I bear witness that, that there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that. Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. Brother, I'd like to ask you that did anyone force you to convert to Islam? No. It was out of free will? will. Free will. Yes. No one forced you? No one. Did anyone give you money? No. Sure, no? Yes, I'm sure. See, because I always make it clear anyone accepting any religion by force is prohibited in our religion. Yes. In India, it's prohibited, and I believe even in Maldives, it will be prohibited. So, so I hope no one forced you. No. You did it out of your own free will. Yes. No economic pressure. No. Zakir didn't give you money, na? <laughs> no. So sometimes, you know, in India, in India, mashallah, I, India is a country which is free. It is prohibited for anyone to force. Sometimes after conversion, the police go and ask, how much dollars Dr. Zakir gave you? So they say, we saw him on Peace TV. So surely in this country also, forcing anyone to accept any religion is prohibited. It's prohibited even in Islam. And why I want to make it very sure, because there are certain religious people from other religions who force people and manipulate them to accept the religion, which is totally wrong. Islam is against forcing anyone to accept Islam. But if someone wants to accept Islam, no one can stop you. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I pray to Almighty God that to give you hidayah, to guide you and make your practicing Muslim, and give you the best in this world and the year after. Inshallah. I would have one request for cameras and photographs if they could not display my picture because I'm here against the wills of my parents. Sure, I request that, that you would please, uh, please respect the view of our new Muslim brother. He would like that his photograph is not displayed, there's no live telecast. If it was live on Peace TV, it was too late. So, lucky it's not live on Peace TV. Thank you, brother.